Wait, fucking, is that a real picture? I think that's a f real photo of a deer that probably jumped into a pool and then just fucking thrashed. Um, <laughs> you know what? Is that actually that actually happened? I th of course it happened. I think I think this is a. Re Who are you inspired by? Well, Kanye West, obviously. Uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. I don't know. Are you are you sleeping? You're not sleeping a lot, right? Well, oh, geez, do I look that bad? <laughs> no. From being bullied to being worth over a hundred billion dollars. From being the nerd at school to revolutionizing the energy industry. From being abused by his father to potentially be the first to send humans to Mars. How does this make you feel when you hear it? This is the story of Elon Musk. But what is your story? Write your age in the comments and tell us where you want to be at age 50 and join us on our journey to reach our goals and dreams. Musk was born to a Canadian mother who's a nutritionist and a South African father and was raised in Pretoria, South Africa. When his parents divorced, his mother got all the children and he decided to move to his father's since he felt bad for him being alone. This was a decision he later deeply regretted since his father started to drink and mentally abuse him for years. Elon was also bullied in school, but through that learned an important lesson. If you punch a bully in the nose, he will beat you up, but he won't bully you anymore. Elon developed an interest in many different fields early on. He would be glued to books about physics, astrology, and more. He briefly attended the University of Pretoria before moving to Canada when he was 17 to attend Queen's University. He transferred to the University of Pennsylvania two years later, where he received dual bachelor degrees in economics and physics. His interest in electric cars seemed to take a hold of him. On a date with a girl, he talked only about that, and even opened up the chat with, have you ever thought about electric cars? Not a good icebreaker, as he admitted later. Uh, I met a woman I, I did briefly in, in college, um, who now works at Scientific American as a writer, and, uh, and, and she, she related the anecdote that uh, we went on a date. I was, all I was talking about was electric cars. Um, <laughs> that was not a, big, a winning conversation. <laughs> so it was a bit of a monologue, was it? Yeah, she said, uh, she, she said the first question I asked her was, do you ever think about electric cars? <laughs> she said, no, she so never does. <laughs> so, so you'll learn from that, that wasn't the best yeah, shout-out was, line. Wasn't, wasn't great. He moved to California in 1995 to begin a PhD in applied physics and material sciences at Stanford University, but dropped out after two days to pursue a business career. He co-founded Zip2, a web software company which was acquired by Compaq for $307 million in 1999. Musk then founded X.com, an online bank. It merged with Confinity in 2000, which had launched PayPal the previous year and was subsequently bought by eBay for $1.5 billion in October 2002. In May of the same year, Musk founded SpaceX, an aerospace manufacturer and space transport services company, of which he is CEO and lead designer. He joined Tesla Motors Inc., an electric vehicle manufacturer, in 2004, the year after it was founded became its product architect, and became its CEO in 2008. As his companies seemed to be steering towards certain doom, 2008 was one of the hardest periods of Musk's life. But he heroically invested $50 million of his own money, and Tesla and SpaceX pulled through. On August 12, 2013, Musk unveiled the concept for a high-speed transportation system incorporating reduced pressure tubes in which pressurized capsules ride on an air cushion driven by linear induction motors and air compressors. The alpha design for the system was published in a white paper posted to the Tesla and SpaceX blogs. The document scoped out the technology and outlined a notional route where such a transport system might be built ideally between the greater Los Angeles area and the San Francisco Bay area, at an estimated total cost of six billion US dollars. Musk's proposal, if technologically feasible at the cost he has cited, would make Hyperloop travel cheaper than any other mode of transport for such long distances. Musk had envisioned the system in approximately 2011 and assigned a dozen engineers from Tesla and SpaceX who worked part-time for nine months establishing the conceptual foundations and creating the designs which resulted in the 2013 white paper. In June 2015, Musk announced a design competition for students and others to build Hyperloop pods to operate on a SpaceX-sponsored mile-long track in 2015 through 2017 Hyperloop pod competition. The track was used in January 2017 and Musk also started building a tunnel. Hyperloop 1 
a company unaffiliated with Musk, announced in July 2017 that it had its first successful test run on its DevLoop track in Nevada, which had lasted 5.3 seconds and reached a top speed of 70 miles per hour. In July 2017, Musk claimed that he had received verbal government approval to build a hyperloop from New York City to Washington DC, stopping in both Philadelphia and Baltimore. In December 2015, Musk announced the creation of OpenAI, a not-for-profit artificial intelligence research company. OpenAI aims to develop artificial general intelligence in a way that is safe and beneficial to humanity. By making AI available to everyone, OpenAI wants to, and I quote, counteract large corporations who may gain too much power by owning super intelligent systems devoted to profits, as well as governments which may use AI to gain power and even oppress their citizenry. Musk has stated he wants to counteract the concentration of power. In 2018, Musk left the OpenAI board to avoid possible future conflicts with his role as CEO of Tesla, as Tesla increasingly became involved in AI through Tesla Autopilot. In an interview with Joe Rogan in September 2018, Musk expressed his concerns about the dangers of developing artificial intelligence indiscriminately. In January 2019, Mark Harris of The Guardian noted that the Musk Foundation had added a line to its website, stating its support for the development of safe artificial intelligence to benefit humanity. In 2006, he helped create SolarCity, a solar energy services company, now a subsidiary of Tesla. In 2015, Musk co-founded OpenAI, a nonprofit research company that aims to promote friendly artificial intelligence. In July 2016, he co-founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology company focused on developing brain-computer interfaces. In December of 2016, Musk founded The Boring Company, an infrastructure and tunnel construction company focused on tunnels optimized for electric vehicles. In addition to his primary business pursuits, Musk envisioned an open-source high-speed transportation system known as the Hyperloop based on the concept of a VAC train. The vast collection of innovation and progress Musk has made possible is astonishing. Which of those do you think is the most important for society? And the future is also bright for Elon. 2024 is his first planned landing on Mars. Tesla's fully autonomous cars will be roaming the streets. Neuralink will be helping with terrible health conditions, the developing of AI, SolarCity, and so on. The list is long and will not shorten anytime soon. What would you like to change in the world? If a random kid from South Africa can achieve such things, you can too. Don't waste your potential. Failure is important, and it will help you learn to become better. Elon could have given up a billion times, but as he said himself, and I quote, I'll never give up, I'd have to be in a coma or dead. Drop a comment and let us know what you think. Or you can join our Discord server. Thank you to Amir and MSKD Sounds for helping make this video possible. This video was also made possible by Memelo.com. Memelo is our own online store and features a variety of seal plushies and meme items. This channel is not monetized. That's why we're dependent on your support. Make sure to check out our links in the description. We're also on Reddit, Twitter, Discord, and more. Violate the like button for the YouTube algorithm and enable the bell to never miss another upload. Have a great day. Hello, I'm Sealdrop. You can support me now by visiting memelo.com where you can find meme merch, seal pillows, and more. Thanks to every supporter.